Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing? Uh, today, we're going to be tackling the question of whether you can destroy the reactors on the mall without explosives. So, at this part of the mission on the mall, this is the last level of Halo, you're supposed to um, grab, go to the armory, grab some rocket launchers or grenades, and then make your way up to the top of the reactor room, and or the engine room, and you're supposed to, there's four reactors you got to open up, and you're supposed to fire a rocket launcher or toss a grenade inside. And that's how you destroy each of them, so that you can uh, continue with the rest of the mission. But, um, the question we're going to be tackling is, uh, could you destroy those without explosives? As in, you know, let's say hypothetically you ran out of ammo completely, for whatever reason, and all you're left is uh, with regular weapons. So could you possibly destroy the reactor with just regular weapons? Well, me and General Josh here, we pretty much rounded up all the uh, most powerful weapons we could find on the mission. And we uh, were just pretty much going to just start unloading <laughs> into the reactor, right into the middle of it. And we're going to do this for a little bit and see if uh, eventually, with enough firepower from these regular weapons, these non-explosive weapons, if we can destroy the reactor. Which, you know, could be useful if in the event you run out of ammo for your rocket launcher or any other explosive weapon. I mean, we <laughs> we do have the um, bandanas go on, so it wouldn't matter anyways, but we're just, you know, going to find out if it actually is possible. So, we did spend quite a while on this. I'd say we spent like, I don't know, 15 minutes just blasting away. 10 to 15 minutes, maybe. Uh, so this is like super sped up, and we tried like several different weapons. Uh, bearing power. Now, before I continue, I do want to show you something really cool. Um, so if you look closely, we are in anniversary graphics right now. And if I, this is what it, the reactor looks like in uh, classic graphics. If you notice, in classic graphics, it's a, um, you know, it's like a glowing sphere inside in the middle of the reactor. And then if you switch to anniversary graphics, if you look closely, that glowing sphere is actually just a uh, cube. Which, if you remember from my video about the uh, engineers and what they look like in uh, Halo 1 Anniversary, when you spawn the engineers, they're actually uh, just a floating cube in Anniversary mode. Same with the uh, the Halo ring on the mission uh, Pillar of Autumn. If you spawn it, it's actually just a uh, black cube. Whereas, in, uh, I mean, that basically happens when... Uh, you spawn something that's not supposed to be in uh, anniversary mode, meaning um, 343 and Saber Interactive, they, um, when they made Halo Anniversary, they never made uh, anniversary textures or um, graphics for the uh, certain things, like the engineer, because they, you know, they weren't expecting you to see engineers at all in the game. But this is kind of weird with this one, because you could feasibly see the center of the reactor and uh, for some reason, I don't know, they they chose not to make uh, anniversary models and textures for that little glowing sphere in the middle but yeah, just a little interesting thing that you might have noticed in anniversary mode just uh, one missing texture in the game that uh, that probably should have been there but I don't know, for whatever reason they chose not to include it but anyways, as you can see, we spent quite a while, we tried several different weapons, needlers, plasma pistols, we pretty much tried everything, all non-explosive weapons, and, you know, it did pretty much no damage, and it still takes just one grenade to destroy it, so far at least, uh, but, actually, you know, it, you pretty much can't destroy the reactor without explosives, that's, um, I guess uh, in the damage settings in the game, it's it's set so that only explosive weapons can do damage to the reactor core. However, it's not entirely impossible. The reactor core does actually have health, and here on Halo PC, I used a uh, dev trainer and turned on the instant kill cheat in Halo 1, which is something built into Halo 1, but for Halo on PC, you have to use a trainer to activate it which I did in this case, and as you can see, with the instant kill cheat activated, uh, just firing a single bullet at the right angle into the reactor will be enough to uh, destroy the reactor. So, 
technically, yeah, you kind of can destroy it without explosives, but only if you use the instant kill cheat on Halo PC or Halo Custom Edition. However, under normal circumstances and normal gameplay, whether it's regular Halo 1 or Halo 1 Anniversary, you cannot destroy the reactors without explosive weapons. So, if for some reason you're playing this mission and you run out of rockets and grenades completely, somehow, then you are out of luck and you have to revert or restart the mission if you can't get any more explosive weapons to destroy the reactors with. So, yeah, that uh, should answer that question, and uh, hopefully you guys found it interesting, and if you did, or if you did enjoy it, uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if there's anything you want me to check out next, just let me know, and I'll do my best to uh, take a look at it. Other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and click the little notification icon next to the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with our latest videos when we release them. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.